As you all know, Surge is insane in Brawl Stars. I was just playing solo and suddenly I was doing 9,000 damage. So I was wondering how good Surge actually is in every mode, solo duo 3v3 and so on. I would really like today to rank Surge in every single mode. We had insane gameplay, believe me I was cooking. Enough talking, get ready for this banger video and let's go. Let's start with Solo Showdown. Surge has quite a few good maps in Solo, so it should be good. We are playing on one of his best maps by the way, so that's nice. I want these cubes, so let's kill the other Surge. Damn, Surge's gadget is really insane, otherwise I would have lost here. Let's grab this cube real quick. What is very important for Surge is that you get your super as fast as possible. That is the reason why I went so aggressive on that Surge. Let's just go sit in the bush. This is very chill for my super... Go for this Shelly, I guess. Now let's go hunt this Surge. As a Surge, it is important to keep the pressure on in the game. You don't want to end up with too many people in the endgame, and Surge is simply best when he plays aggressively. Let's just go for this Kenji. I'm just gonna jump, I know it's dumb. Oops. As Surge, the beginning of the game determines your whole game. If you have a good start, you often win the game. So go for as many levels and cubes as possible. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Road to 10k subs. In the mid game, you want to play aggressive. Go for kills, try to get to level 4. From then on, you are very hard to kill. No way. Whoa! Okay, now let's go play Brawl Ball. I think Solo Showdown and Brawl Ball are the only really good game modes for Surge. He is also pretty good in duels, but other than that, not really. So I'm going to give you a quick guide for Solo. Surge is currently, in my opinion, the best brawler in Solo Showdown. This is because he is very good against the meta that is currently being played. Brawlers like Shelly and Lily are very bad against Surge. This is because of Surge's build. This is the build that I recommend you to use for Surge. If I may give you a few tips about Surge's build, it is that you have to handle your gadget well. 
This is very underrated, but he is so good, you get all your ammo back and less damage. With this, you can easily kill tanks or multiple brawlers at the same time. Also, his star power is much better than most people think. If you shoot against the wall, your bullets bounce off. In the gameplay, you will see a few times that I one-shot someone this way. It is really overpowered. Further about the maps that you want to play, Surge is good on close range maps. I recommend you to play him on maps like Skull Creek or Stormy Plains. These maps are a bit similar. Surge is so good at this because there are a lot of walls and because of the brawlers that play on this map. Also maps like Rockwall Brawl are good. Be careful in the beginning of the game when you're still level 1. Try to get level 2 as soon as possible. If I have a good start with Surge, I usually win the game. Go for 3 power cubes and a high level quickly in the beginning. This is the ideal start. In the mid-game, you want to play strategically aggressive. What I mean by this is that you have to play aggressive, but think carefully about what you do. Make sure you don't get third party, for example. Go for easy kills like Shelly. If you're attacked, you're super defensive to get away. First, always keep moving. Don't stay in one place for too long, or other players can easily find and attack you. Move around the map to stay safe and use walls and bushes to dodge shots and hide. Moving often also makes it harder for others to predict where you are. Collect power cubes to make your brawler stronger, but be careful when you do this. Power cubes give you more health and damage, but going after every cube you see can be risky. Other players might be hiding nearby, waiting to surprise you when you go for a cube. Pick up cubes that seem safe and always look around to check if anyone is close by. Choose your fights wisely and know when to run. It's tempting to attack any player you see, but if they're stronger or have more cubes, it might be better to avoid them. Focus on fighting players who are weaker or already hurt. If you feel like you're losing a fight, don't be afraid to run away and find a safe spot to recover. Watch the poison gas cloud as it slowly closes in on the map. This cloud forces everyone towards the center, which means more players in a smaller area. Use this to your advantage by positioning yourself well. Make sure you're not caught near the gas, but try to push other players toward it, making it harder for them to escape. Take advantage of other players' fights by third-partying them. This means joining a fight between two other players and attacking them when they're low on health. It's a good way to get easy eliminations, but remember, other players might do this to you too. If you just finished a fight and are low on health, hide right away to heal up and avoid being an easy target. Be patient and stay aware. Solo Showdown isn't just about getting kills, it's about surviving until the end. Sometimes it's best to let other players fight each other while you stay safe and hidden. Keep an eye on the player counter to know how many are left and try to remember where each player is to avoid getting surprised. Use the environment wisely. If you're low on health, hide in bushes to heal up without being seen. Use walls to dodge attacks and sneak around enemies. Sometimes you can wait in a spot where lots of players pass through and surprise them with an attack. Knowing how to use the map can make it much easier to survive and set up ambushes. Winning in Solo Showdown is all about playing smart and thinking ahead. It's not just about fighting. Often being patient and making good choices is more important. Practice these tips, learn from each game, and you'll start winning more often. 